أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إن الله وإنا إلا رجعون السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته my dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam the title of this piece is the word or kalima in the Holy Quran and in the truth of the Kitab recite what is sent of the book by inspiration to thee and establish regular prayer for prayer restrains from shameful and unjust deeds and remembrance of Allah is the greatest thing in life without doubt and Allah knows the deeds that you do Surah 29 Ayat 45 and Allah blots out vanity and proves the truth by his words Kalima for he knows well the secrets of all hearts Surah 42 Ayat 24 and the command of Allah is a decree determined. Surah 33, Ayat 38. The sure reality, Al-Haq, and what is the sure reality, and what will make thee realize what the sure reality is. The Thamud and the Ad people branded as false the stunning calamity, but the Thamud, they were destroyed by a terrible storm of thunder and lightning. And the Ad, they were destroyed by a furious wind, exceedingly violent. He made it rage against them seven nights and eight days in succession, so that thou couldst see the whole people lying prostrate in its paths, as if there had been roots of hollow palm trees tumbled down. Then seest thou any of them left surviving, and Pharaoh and those before him in the cities overthrown committed habitual sin, and disobeyed each the messenger of their Lord. So he punished them with an abundant penalty, we, when the water of Noah's flood overflowed beyond its limits, carried you, mankind, in the floating ark, that we might make it a message unto you, and that ears that should hear the tale and retain its memory should bear its lessons in remembrance. Surah 69, Ayats 1 through 12. Then by the Lord of heaven and earth, this is the very truth, as much as the fact that ye can speak intelligently to each other. Surah 51, Ayat 23 Is then one who doth know that that which hath been revealed unto thee from thy Lord is the truth, like one who is blind? It is those who are endued with understanding that receive admonition. Surah 13, Ayat 19 Therefore the word becomes real. Your words are what sustain me. They bring me great joy and are my heart's delight, for I bear your name, O Lord God Almighty. Jeremiah fifteen sixteen. Your word is a lamp for my feet and a light for my path. Psalm 119, 105. How sweet are your words to my taste, they are sweeter than honey. Psalm 119, 103. The laws of the Lord are true. Each one is fair. They are more desirable than gold, even the finest gold. They are sweeter than honey, even honey dripping from the comb. Psalm 19, 9 through 10. Store my commands in your heart for they will give you long and satisfying life. Proverbs 3, 2. My father told me, take my words to heart, follow my instructions and you will live. Learn to be wise and develop good judgment. Don't forget or turn away from my words. Don't turn your back on wisdom, for she will protect you. Love her and she will guard you. Getting wisdom is the most important thing you can do and whatever else, and whatever else you do, Get good judgment. If you prize wisdom, she will exalt you. Embrace her and she will honor you. She will place a lovely wreath upon your head. She will present you with a beautiful crown. Proverbs 4, 4 through 9. By wisdom, the Lord founded the earth. By understanding, he established the heavens. By his knowledge, the deep fountains of the earth burst forth and the clouds poured down rain. Proverbs 3, 19 through 20. 
Pay attention, my child, to what I say. Listen carefully. Don't lose sight of my words. Let them penetrate deep within your heart, for they bring life and radiant health to anyone who discovers their meanings. Proverbs 4, 20 through 22. Don't be impressed with your own wisdom. Instead, fear the Lord, taqwa Allah, and turn your back on evil. Then you will gain renewed health and vitality. Proverbs 3, 7 through 8. My son, pay attention to my wisdom. Listen carefully to my wise counsel. Then you will learn to be discreet and will store up knowledge. Proverbs 5, 1 through 2. And so, my children, listen to me, for happy are all who follow my ways, says Prophet Solomon. Listen to my counsel and be wise. Don't ignore it. Proverbs 8, 32 through 33. Anyone who listens to my teaching and obeys me is wise. Matthew 7, 24. Wisdom has built her spacious house with seven pillars. She has prepared a great banquet, mixed the juices, and set the table. She has sent her servants to invite everyone to come. She calls out from the heights overlooking the city, Come home with me, she urges the simple. To those without good judgment, she says, Come eat my food and drink my juices I have mixed. Leave your foolish ways behind and begin to live. Learn how to be wise. Proverbs 9, 1. Through six. Everything that is now hidden or secret will eventually be brought to light. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen and understand, and be sure to pay attention to what you hear. The more you do this, the more you will understand, and even more besides. To those who are open to my teaching, more understanding will be given, but to those who are not listening, even what they have will be taken away from them. Mark four, twenty two through twenty five. Anyone who is willing to hear should listen and understand. Matthew eleven, fifteen, And this is very similar to Surah Al-Haq, Ayat 12, that is Surah 69, Ayat 12. That we might make it a message unto you, and that ears that should hear the tale and retain its memory should bear its lessons in remembrance. And this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My spirit will not leave them, and neither will these words I have given you. They will be on your lips and on the lips of your children and your children's children forever. I, the Lord, have spoken. Isaiah 59, 21. The Holy Spirit was right when it said to our ancestors through Isaiah the prophet, Go and say to my people, You will hear my words, but you will not understand. You will see what I do, but you will not perceive its meaning. For the hearts of these people are hardened, and their ears cannot hear, and they have closed their eyes, so their eyes cannot see, and their ears cannot hear, and their hearts cannot understand, and they cannot turn to me, and let me heal them. Acts 28, 25 through 27. And a reference here to Isaiah is a reference to Isaiah 6, 9 through 10, and it reads, And he said, Yes, go, but tell my people this, you will hear my words, but you will not understand. You will see what I do, but you will not perceive its meaning. Harden the hearts of these people, close their ears, and shut their eyes. That way, they will not see with their eyes, hear with their ears, or understand with their hearts, and turn to me for healing. Allah will establish in strength those who believe with the word that stands firm in this world and in the hereafter. But Allah will lead astray those who do wrong. Allah doeth what He willeth. You thought be to Allah, Adladin, Amano, Bilkoli, Bilkoli, Al Thabiti, Al Thastafla, Al Thabiti, Fi Al Hayot, Al Dunya, Wifi Al Agirat, or you will do Allah, Al Zolimina, while you have Elo, Allah, whom I yesha. That was Surah 14, Ayah 27. And we have made them a people of the past and an example to later ages. Surah 43, Ayat 56. And this is similar to Surah 43, Ayat 8, which reads, 
So we destroyed them, strong in power than these, and thus has passed on the parable of the peoples of old. Therefore, it seems, what Allah has done is the reality, and what Allah has yet to do is the reality, and so he has made it a word, kalima, and that word or kalima is al-haq, the reality or truth. And so the peoples that were of the past are a similitude of the people of the present and of later ages. Jazakallah khair.